YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. And if you are brand new here, welcome. I'm Bonnie, Old Sold Mermaid. And today is just going to be a quick little video. Um, some of you might be interested. I know I'm interested in these type of videos, but we're going to take a look at my deck storage and where I keep all my decks. I don't have as many decks as maybe some of you who've been collecting forever um, or who are really diehard collectors. But then again, I may have a few more than some of you. I keep them all over in little nooks and crannies of my house. I don't have like one space designated for all of them. So we're just going to take a little hop around the house and um, we're just going to take a look and see how I store my decks. So let's uh, head on out of this room. start with my bookcase which is out in the main room of my house and if you hear noise in the background I apologize um, it's because of dogs and my husband so I'm gonna make sure I don't trip over my lights and up at the top you will see I've got a couple of Oracle decks so I have some decks kind of almost as uh, decoration interspersed on my uh, bookcase. So here we have Uncover Your Past Life's Oracle and the Practice You Daily, uh, Daily Awakening deck. That deck also has a workbook with it and I haven't done an unboxing of it because I was waiting to get the workbook and I finally did. So maybe I'll do a video with that. But as you can see up here, that's Mr. Old Soul Mermaid, my husband, Jimmy. And that's me. And over here, me and him. All right, so we're gonna move down. Oh, you can see, those were my babies. You can see my, my little boys were, well, they still are, gingers. But yes, we like toys. Those are some of my husband's childhood toys. Okay, say hello to Bernie and AOC. And you'll see here I have my two of my Leela and Olive decks, the Maiden Oracle, the Pythia Botanical, say hello to Elizabeth Warren that they have. Um, my Lonely Dreamer is down here. And we're gonna scan it. I'm hoping this isn't too shaky, you guys. My Dark Mansion is here. Putting my Ad Orbita here. And I've got my da Danielle Noel, two of her decks, the Moon Child and Star Seed Oracle. And if you remember, I did rehome my Star Child tarot. Yeah, I just wasn't connecting with that. But if you see, if I get a little bit closer here, um, you'll see my companion books, the Baba Studio books, and Dream, the Indie Dream Keepers uh, companion books. Yeah, these are some of the companion books that I have gotten with the decks. Either they came or they, you know, books you had to buy separately. And here, we have the Shimmering Veil Tarot by Scylla Conway. I filmed an unboxing of this and I haven't put it up yet because I don't know if I like the way I filmed it. So we'll see, I may redo it, but then it won't be an unboxing. So <laughs> we'll see. So now I'm on the floor, I'm sitting on the floor and this is the bottom shelf. Um, this is mostly mass market decks and you see the big box decks in the back. You can see the Dark Goddess, the True Heart, the Antique Anatomy, uh, the mass market Anna Kay. I do have the indie version. The R Tarot, Tarot Made Easy by Barbara Moore. Vivid Journey Tarot, which is a great little beginner deck. The Witch's Wisdom. Uh, these two decks I got from Half Price Books, if you saw that video of some, my Half Price Books finds. 
little minor imperfections in them, but I got them for $9.99 and on Amazon um, they're $25 bucks, so, and they're perfectly fine. Uh, the Beginner's Guide to Tarot, there's my Mass Market Dream Keepers, the Arcana of Astrology, my uh, Heavenly Bodies, and then one of my Healers of the Earth Oracles. You'll see the other one in another place. And yeah, Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh, there's the one in the deck in here, the Heroine Tarot. But all the rest, you can see our mass. Oh, no, actually, <laughs> there's the James R. Eads decks, the Cosmovision Oracles, Prisma Visions, Lights, uh, Light Visions, and also the actually the Seventh Sphere Tarot there. Um, on, here, way in the inside, is the Key Master Tarot. This is the Seventh Sphere. It's mostly here um, uh, mass market decks, but yeah. You know, it's kind of like Jenga, trying to find decks that fit in the space. So I'm gonna slide over. I'm gonna slide my tushy over on the floor. I'm still on the floor. And down on the, because down on the bottom, we still have some more decks. Yeah, this is definitely, um, predominantly mass market decks, as you can see. The only one that I think that's indie is if you see that red, um, deck over there, Vampire uh, Tarot, that's uh, Robert M. Place. But you see my Druid Craft, I got my Will Worthington decks in the corner, the Druid uh, Plant, also the Wildwood, and you can see some other goodies, Mass Market goodies, the Wizard's Tarot, the Mermaid Tarot, the Dark Wood Tarot, Raven's Prophecy, all through, I have all three of Kim, Kim Kranz's decks. Yeah, you can see all of these right here. Okay, now I'm actually gonna have to get up. I'm gonna move up a shelf. And here I've got my Modern Love by Ephany, as well as the Modern Goddess Oracle right here. And you can see some of my books. I am an Anglophile, and as you can see, I love, love, love British history. Also love American history. If you're into the Civil War, highly recommend Sarah Morgan's Civil War Diary, along with Mary Chestnuts. You see some of my uh, Outlander books, Diana Gabaldon. And we're gonna move up. Another one of Ethany's decks, The Awakened Soul, with my Philippa Gregory books more Outlander books. The Crow Tarot is hiding back there. Nice and colorful. I've got the Star Seeker Tarot here with more Outlander books. Moving up, we've got the Literary Witches and the book and the um, Tarot of the Divine because they're Clarks and Potter decks, kind of the same size. And let's see, we're gonna move up. Now here with my Charlotte, my Bronte sister books and my Jane Austen books is the Jane Austen tarot deck, which I use more as an oracle. And then here, oh, my babies. Um, that's number two and three. We have my Dame Darcy mermaid tarot. Gonna move up. Oh, there's my little girl. I think she was a freshman in high school there, I think. I have an Ember and Aura Tarot and the Empath Oracle by Monica Medium. That's one of the first Oracle decks that I backed on Kickstarter. There's my number one when he was in high school. I think he was freshman or sophomore in high school there. And okay, we're moving over to the next section. I don't think I have any, I know, do you like my um, <laughs> babies? Uh, no, I don't have any drugs here. But I do 
do have some decks. Well, these are my big books. Okay, let's move on up. And I've got my Anima Mundi Tarot here. Got my Winston Graham Poldark novels here. I've got the Hush Tarot right there. And we're gonna move up. And you're gonna see the mythical creatures. Oh, you guys love F. Scott Fitzgerald, but I find his wife more fascinating. That book, Zelda Fitzgerald, Her Voice in Paradise by Sally Klein. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh my gosh. Can you see more books on the Romanovs? And Aelvis. Like reading about Aelvis. But over here, we've got my prized Bohemian Gothic that my husband just got me for my birthday. And we're moving on up. And you see the Victorian Romantic, the Tarot of Prague. And my little guy, when he was in elementary school, like kindergarten or first grade, my youngest, made me these uh, bookends. <laughs> um, I'm thinking about painting them, but then again, I just, I think he, he, he ran out of time as far as decorating, so this is what I got for a Mother's Day, and I think I'll just leave them as they are. Sometimes I'm tempted to paint them, but okay, moving on up, say hello to RBG, rest in peace, and I've got my Wandering Star or a tarot deck, and moving across, you'll see we've got this is my husband's copy of the Keymaster Tarot with the nicer resin box. Say hello to President Obama here. And I've got my Lua Tarot up here. And there's nothing on the top shelf except for pictures. And on this top shelf, more cuteness there. But I've got my Inner Compass Oracle by Heather Hopes. And then we're going to move down to the next shelf. And we see the Slow Tarot by Lacey Bryant. Oh, reci dance recital time. This is back when I was teaching dance classes. And I put my little guy in my uh, toddler classes. So I wouldn't have to get a babysitter and I could teach and make some money. Um, And we've got my five cent tarot. This is the second edition. I do have my first edition in another place. The second edition is the one I use. And then we're moving down and you're gonna see my Dame Darcy Alice, Queen Alice tarot and more British history books and books about the Romanovs. And yes, say hello to Mr. Muller and his big ass report. And my Baba Studios Alice in Wonderland Tarot. So we've got the Alice decks here because I also have my Alice in Wonderland through and through the Looking Glass book right there. And my Grimm's Fairy Tale book. Okay, we are going to move down one more shelf. And you'll see my Tarot of Mystical Moments, which I think kind of fits with the books, these, um, my Deborah Harkness books. Are you watching the Discovery of Witches series on the Sundance or Shudder Now channel? Um, it's really fun. If you do a free, uh, you can do a free trial and binge watch both seasons. And more things that my little guys made me in elementary school. And the Simplicity Tarot. Now I am waiting for, I did pre-order the Diverse Edition of this deck, so when I get it, I will be doing a side-by-side. -side. And I think it's due to come out in April, so it shouldn't be too long. So moving down, you'll see that I've got my Joanna Nelson decks, the two that I have, Whispering Spirits. She has another one coming out, doesn't she? Oh, I have my, I think this is, deck one of the truth bomb decks yeah i only have one i have uh the first one and there's the mons tarot and then we're going to move down to the very very bottom again last section of the bookcase 
got my mystical shaman oracle, my mystical healing reading cards, as you see, and I've got my Jane Austen oracle kit here that you saw me unbox recently. Also here, I've got the relative tarot and a newly acquired um, bone stone and earth flesh deck, which I just got. I'm so happy to have acquired this. I'm so grateful. And I've got the Botan Tarot here. And these are decks that, you know, you can't really flip on your on their side. You gotta really lay them flat. So there's my Relative Tarot, the Botan Tarot, uh, Monica Berdursky's Shadowland Tarot. Under that, I have Poppy Palin's Everyday Enchantment. Uh, this is my indie version of Anna Kay. There's my indie version of the Light Seers. There is my Antiquities of Magic by Jillian C. Wilde and my mass market version of the Marielle Tarot, which I got really cheap from Half Price Books um, right before you know the pandemic and everything. So that's here. I'm gonna try to work with this shelf a little bit. It's looking a little bare. But moving right along, we're gonna get away from the bookcase. I'm trying to make it so it's not so shaky and so you don't get nauseous. But I'm gonna step over. Here I have a little makeshift altar. This was an old, let me see, old Ikea chest that was in my uh, oldest son's room where he kept a lot of his things, but now, Inside, I have some some of my you know tarot and astrology books in there. Okay, I've got these little crates um, that I bought from Half Price Books, and they're really well made, and they're they're specifically for like um, vinyl singles, but um, I'm using them for decks. And in this top one, I've got some bagged decks. So I have my Augenblick tarot and. Uh, Oracle, they both have the books in the bag, so everything's self-contained. I have my Usi books and decks, so my Super Oracle book, the Super Oracle itself, and also my Pagan Other Worlds, and then I have Marie Bento's books and decks, the Antiquarian Tarot, Divine Muses, and a newly acquired um, Whimsical Tarot by Mary Hansen, Mary Hansen Roberts. Um, you probably saw my video of that. You know, of all those vintage decks that I found at Half Price Books, and I ended up keeping that one. And the Fairy Wicca. Okay, so let's see if I can, sorry, my finger got in there. Let's see if I can take this down one-handed. And in here, you're going to see uh, mass market oracle decks, basically um, some aff affirmation decks like my uh, Gabrielle Bernstein's The Universe, is it Universe? Yes, The Universe Has Your Back. I like her affirmation decks, even though, you know, you can complain there's a lot of, you know, love mentioned in them particularly the universe has your back, but sometimes they're what you need to hear. There's a, f I can look at three decks in here that um, I am considering maybe rehoming. Yeah, so stay tuned for that. And on my altar, I do have the, um, the Siren's Melody. I do have a full unboxing for this deck. And this is a little card that I made while I was making, um, I was taking Heather Hope's soul collage classes over the summer. And that card has meaning for me. These are my cards that I pulled today. One of, and here's uh, one of Jamie Sawyer's beautiful reading boards. So we're gonna move on to the other side over here. And 
this is where I keep like my tuck box decks, my mass market tuck box, box decks. And you can see what I have in here, Joie de Vie, Paulina Tarot, Morgan Greer, the Aquarian Tarot, Celestial Tarot, my Pre-Raphaelites there, my Hanson Roberts, uh, Pride Tarot, Cosmic Tarot. Okay, so now we are in the bedroom. And as you can see, I've got a little makeshift altar here. And um, these two storage rolling carts. These are basically for crafting supplies that you can find at Michael's. I also have a couple of these in my sewing room that uh, I use for uh, storing patterns, sewing patterns, but those are from Ikea. These are from Michael's. And uh, in this first one, you'll see there's, um, I keep tarot decks, no Oracle, but tarot decks. I'm gonna get down a little bit lower. A lot of them are in bags, but I have, you know, my second edition Lonely Dreamer, my indie edition Field Tarot, my mass market Field Tarot is out on the bookcase out front. We've got Pamela Chen's Unicorn, Tarot, we've got The Journey of the Sacred Bee by uh, Kelly Burton, which I am backing the Oracle on Kickstarter. Uh, this is that in Mass Market Cats tarot deck. See the kitty? There's the kitty. Um, and here I've got my This Might Hurt. It's in there, and here is my Intuitive Night Goddess is in there. This is my um, Afro Goddess Tarot Arcanas in here. The Vendor deck and book are in here. This is the first edition. I don't have the second edition, though I'm tempted. This bag came with the Simplicity Tarot, but I found that the book and bag didn't, uh, the book you know, the whole deck didn't fit in here. So I have my, um, can't remember the name of this cute little deck. It's by Kitten Chops. The Playful Heart, there you go. Playful Heart is in that bag. And then I have my Le Bon Monde. And this bag was actually, I bought some jewelry a long time ago from Madewell and, uh, I got it in this bag. They gave me this bag and I, it's perfect for my Le Beau Monde. What do I have in here is, oh yes, my OK Tarot deck. In here are Madame Clara decks, Mid Centurion and Madame Clara Sees All. I've got my Darkness of Light here. And then I have a Robert M. Place deck here. Going down. A tear. What have we got? Oh, my efflorescent tarot is in this bag. You can see in the back we've got my herb crafters, my little monsters tarot. I've got my revival art tarot decks. I want to do a side by side video. I have been trying to film one and I don't like the way they turned out, so I'm going to have to do it again. The painted tarot. Golden Girls and Friends, Everyday Tarot by Bridget Esselmont, got my White Sage Tarot, The Bix Tarot, my Mystic Masters by Danny Mystic. Um, what do we got in here? I got this. Oh, my Seventh Sphere. Uh, this was the the deck that came in the book by Tina Gong, the B N N, the Barnes and Noble exclusive. It didn't come with a box because it came in a book, so I put it in that bag. Um, blue velvet bag. What do I have? Oh, my Aquarian Tarot, the vintage version that you've that's in one of my other videos. Oh, my hand's getting tired. Um, holding the camera. Sorry, guys. This is probably not going to be the best filming job. This is, oh, my tarot, tarot mucha. Yes, that's what's in there. Mass market deck, great deck. 
the red bag is my first edition of the five cent tarot i love this deck i believe you can probably still get it on etsy okay so down to the bottom tier as you can see fairy wicca my lita woods actually i said there was no or oracles but there are here because these are a matching set the Valida Woods Oracle and Tarot. This one's the Oracle. Um, I've got two versions of my Hilda Tarot here. I've got the Fifth Spirit Tarot, my Shadowscapes, my newly acquired Enchanted Romance, the Infernal Tarot, Tarot Cats, and this is an Usi deck, the Brute Tarot. Um, which is, it has Major Arcana, but it's more like playing cards. And I think I have this in the video, but if you'd like to see it up close and personal, let me know. Okay, back here I've got my little mini Bohemian Gothic. Uh, these are the Minute Tarot and Lenormand decks. Uh, my Marshmallow Marseille, my... Um, Tarot Cyrene, which is a Marseille deck. These are my uh, Mary Elizabeth Evans decks, the Spirit Speak, the Tarot Divina, Divi, Divina, Divinia, I can never remember. Um, my indie version of the Dream Keepers and the Apparition uh, Tarot by Mary Elizabeth Evans. Okay, so my makeshift altar in my bedroom where I meditate. Um, I don't have a lot of fancy witchy paraphernalia here so it's gonna be very boring um, but I use things that work for me. I've picked up some rocks that um, you know my husband and I take walks five, five nights a week after he's finished working and I pick them up and I'm thinking about maybe a couple of them doing some kind of either painting them or doing some um, decoupage on them, something. But then I just have a small collection of crystals because of ethical reasons. Um, I go to one place here in Austin, Nature's Treasures. I think they have fairly ethical standards, but you never really know for sure. So I just have, you know, a small amount of crystals and because I am kind of conscious of, you know, the mining and all that entails. And this is another card that I made from the Soul Collage classes by Heather Hopes. And she's the um, creator of that Inner Compass Oracle you saw on my bookshelf, the little teeny cute one. But this has meaning to me. And I have a notebook and pen and, okay, elephants are one of my spirit animals. Them and dolphins and whales. I love them. I have a deep connection with elephants. These belong to my son, my oldest son. And, you know, while we were going through his things as he moved out and moved away to college, couldn't get rid of these and I, I do. I love animals. I just love elephants. Um, one of the things I did during the pandemic was watch a YouTube channel. I think it's the Herd Elephant Sanctuary. And they chronicled the rescue and integration into a herd of this young baby, four month old elephant, Kamisa. And, you know, showed her healing from her physical wounds and watching the. Um, herd adopter. I'll leave a link in the video below, in the description box below, in case you're interested in such a thing. It's beautiful. It's beautiful, beautiful nature. Down here, I'm going to show you just, I keep some of my tarot books, not all of them, but some of them, and then some incense and candles and crystal, uh, selenite rod, my geomantic visions is here. And then we're going to go over to the next. Next rolling cart, which contains my oracle decks. 
So you can see I've got the Green World Oracle. This was gifted to me by a wonderful viewer. Um, and the Fairy Guidance Oracle by Polina Cassidy. I recently got this thing of runes, which I wanna, curious to work with. I have the Osho Zen is here, the Mermaids and Dolphins, Spirit Animal Tarot. I think this may be leaving my collection. The Shaman's Oracle, the White Light Oracle. Here I've got my little tins. Um, this is the mini Lua Lenormand. This is the, the Divine Muses in a tin, which I use quite a lot. And so I have the regular version, but I also have the tin versions. And there's the smaller original version of the Little Monsters Tarot. I got that at Half Price Books at a very reasonable price, and then I ended up getting the larger second edition. Antiquarian Lenormand, this is being reprinted. I don't think it's not available now, but it is being reprinted. And that's the Lua Lenormand, and this is the Roots and Wings Pocket Oracle. This was her original one. I think the one she has now, she has all the cards from her Roots and Wings Oracle. This one contained like 40 of them missing, you know, a good chunk. But I think her newer pocket oracle contains all of them. So I have some room here for some oracle decks. <laughs> I'm not out of room yet. Um, my Green Witch and Magical Herb Oracle. I just got these and I, I, I filmed a side by side, which I haven't put up yet. Uh, my, some of my astrology decks, Moonology, Queen of the Moon Oracle. This is the Amio Astrology deck. I've got my, oh, this tarot, this is in the wrong place. The Way Home Tarot belongs with the tarot decks. Celtic Lenormand, Kathy Nichols Story cards and Synchronicity decks, the Roots and Wings Oracle. I use that a lot. In these little bags, I keep my Lenormand decks. There's about four or five decks in here. This is my William Shakespeare. Don't you love these quotes? A fusty nut with no kernel. And dissembling harlot, thou art false in all. Don't you love these quotes? Okay. Um, and then, yeah, I have an alchemy bag. I got these bags from Half Price Books. Very fun. So I keep my Lenormand decks, most of them in there. This contains my Elizabeth of the Earth decks, all wrapped up together. This bag was supposed to be for the Cosmovisions Oracle, but since I keep it in the box and the, the bag doesn't hold the box and the deck, I put my John Waterhouse Oracle in here. Here's my second uh, Healers of the Earth oracle deck. I need to do a side-by-side -side with both editions. Um, this one comes in a more compact box and there are more cards added to the deck. My Lunar Lenormand by Shaheen Miro. My Green Glyphs uh, Lenormand by James R. Eads. It's back here. My Seasons of the Witch. My Goddess of Love oracle Wendy Anderson. And here's her other one in here. Um, my one, I have two Doreen Virtue decks, but I think these ones are okay. Um, Affirmators, this is the Love and Relationships Oracle. My Vessel Oracle by Mary Elizabeth Evans. My beloved Tarot of Mystical Moments is here. My beloved, I love this one. Postcards from the Liminal Space. I think this is out of print by Baccaro Wintour. Um, she's the creator of the Way Home Tarot. So, um, you see, I've got some room here. A little bit of room here. I have a little bit on the bookcase out there. And I actually have two more of these crates by Half Price Books, so for overflow. Now, when I fill up my carts and these two crates, I will never have more 
tarot or oracle decks you know once if I once all these are full you know I don't get any more it's gonna be more of a one in one out so I hope you enjoyed that quick little hop around my house and look see to see how and where I keep my decks let me know in the comments below how you store your decks I'm always always looking for new ideas on how to store them um, how to display them if you have some unique ideas or if you have a channel with um, a video with deck storage let me know in the description box below if you don't have a channel just let me know how do you store your decks where do you keep the bulk of them and with that i will leave you and i will see you really soon bye for now mm -hmm.